When I think about Lauren Ridloff, I don't think uh, I don't think it's a fairy tale. I know many folks think it's a a fairy tale. I think Lauren is just stepping into her destiny. This is just you know the road that led her to her greatness. I know she would do something that would leave a huge yeah. impact on many different communities. I remember during her teaching years, she did comment about her time when she lived in LA and how she would, you know, how she thought about becoming an actor and the different things that she did, but that kind of, her priorities changed, life went on, she fell in love, she had a family in New York, and she did really enjoy teaching. And she was a bit strong on literacy for deaf children. And then she moved on to, um, you know, plays in New York. I have been hired to do uh, Children of a Lesser God for Broadway. And I contacted a friend uh, who had worked with the deaf and hard of hearing community in Boston. Everything I'm looking for is in Lauren Ridloff. But when I was watching the performance, I was thinking, wow, looking back in time, it's like I knew she had it in her. It was just amazing for me to look back and think about the Lauren that I knew before she was here on stage before she became a mom, before all of this. But yes, it was mind-blowing when she got that Tony nomination. And what really was mind-blowing as well is that she wore Jason Wu, that, that dress, Asian-American designer, on my friend. I was like, who's getting nominated for a Tony? I just, I couldn't believe it. When she was nominated for the Tony Award, I cried because I wanted it so much for her, but also I knew that she deserved it. You know, she made a sacrifice to do the play, and then she delivered it in such a way that it impacted lives of hearing, hard of hearing, deaf community, and hopefully we can continue to make our world better through our art. She's a pioneer in her field. You know, she represents uh, everything that this society is moving towards, which is a greater understanding of who people are and what people can bring to society. And she's the first one to step up. And when I see Lauren now on the big screen, it makes me realize how much I missed when I was young. I wish I had someone like her when I was 10 or 11 to look up to, to show us that, you know, all of the different identities are equal. Even the deaf identity is on par with everyone else. So I'm really excited how children, young children today, maybe children of color can look up to Lauren and see what she's doing and hopefully it will have a great impact on their lives today. Lauren left her footprint here with a lasting impression of her potential here. And so they were all in awestruck of her um, achievement uh, for the past, achievements over the past 22 years. I never envisioned her to be, you know, in a major film in a leading role is Makari. So we are thrilled to see one of our own um, NCOD alumni, um, you know, on the screen. If the world wasn't the way it is, more doors would be open to see and experience Lawrence's brilliance. Congratulations, Lauren. You deserve this. Congratulations for your distinguished award from CSUN. Congratulations, Lauren, for your huge success. Continue on, Makari, and surprise us some more. Lauren, congratulations on receiving this great honor, the Distinguished Alumni Award from CSUN. I am so proud of you, busting with pride.